Hey. Here we are. I was thinking, uh, probably need to be filming this. So this is the bat buggy that we traded, uh, the guy traded in on the deuce. It had a set of aluminum red wheels, but uh, I traded those in on our lathe. It was a good trade. We're gonna put some wheels on it, get it in the garage. We're gonna fix the swing arm, make it a center seat, a one person cart, and then take it for a rip. We're gonna use the 420 off the street go-kart, which is a stage two, eh, you could say stage three engine from Go Power Shorts. This guy had used the rims that was on this was not the same lug pattern, so he made his own adapters. So he had to pull those off. And there uh, we are. These are the mag wheels that Go Power Sports has. We got them for the rear as well on their long life tires. These are, to me, it looks more like a street treaded tire. Yeah, I'm sure that's not. Well. It's more centered than I thought. Alright, one more to go, and then we gotta pull the actual hubs off the rear axle, which I'm sure is gonna be fun. To put the rear, the new hubs on from Go Power Sports that'll fit the lug pattern. So, this is a Tau Tau Aero go kart. It's uh, scaled to look like the Aerial Atom. And the suspension used to be up here, the shocks did, and it used to have a push rod down there, but the guy switched it. We're gonna probably switch it back because it looks cool. And this is only going to be really used for asphalt and yard riding, not really off-road. Yeah, how close that tire was to that corner. We'll have to grind down that corner. Look at that. Touches. Yep, just a bit. Ooh. Okay. Cool. <coughs> don't have much steering angle either, these racks. These 150 <coughs> racks are the worst. Sorry. Goodness gracious. I'm sorry. This engine is a stage 2 420 Predator non Hemi. It's got the Go Power Sport stage 2 kit, 308 cam, built rod, flywheel, the top plate, and it's got a genuine 32 millimeter Makuni on it. So this engine's coming off. I'm going to get cleaned out because it's been, we put a tarp on this, it blew off, put another tarp on it, it blew off. Uh, so it's been tarpless for about a month or two, around about. So we're going to pull this engine off, go through it, and uh, put a different engine on this and we got to fix a lot of the swing arm you know he was just working with what he had we're not judging but we're going to cut all that off make it look all clean and fancy That's what I said when we were out there. I was like, that's all it's got. It's weird. And it can't have much more because it hit the swing of the A arms. Yeah. Right here. See it? Mm hmm. Well, they have F 150 A arms on here for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the best uh, A arms 150s ever came is on this style, like the toughest. It uh, looks good with those wheels. I think. Yeah. And tires. I like the tires too. Because it looks like a street. Buggy. Mm -hmm. Need street tires. Those definitely need to be wider, the back. Which is going to make. All 150s are like that. I don't get it. Yeah, it's going to make the steering even worse with the tires wider in the back. But we're basically going to take off the. Oh gosh. Uh, spooler and these bars right here. These are going because it's going to be a single seater. Pull the seats out, cut the steering wheel off, center mount it. We're going to try a different rack on that thing. That's, oh no, I, I can get a little bit more angle without hitting the tire, but it's really weird how they've done this. This <sighs> sweet uh, fuel cell though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Brad Hill made this as well for him. Uh, sweet like gas tank though. Yeah, I wish I was keeping it. It's got the GoPro mount and that's perfect vision. Oh yeah. We're gonna put a different steering wheel on here because these steering wheels are really weak. I mean, look at that. I barely pushed that. I mean, don't buy these steering wheels for your go-kart. Felt bend that side, see how. Oh my God. Yeah, that's very bad. That's the same one we had on the street go-kart back in the day. And that's what I felt was how weak that thing was. I was like, that's garbage, that will kill you in a wreck. So we'll be getting rid of this uh, heat handle. Probably put that on Aubrey's go-kart. Yeah, something. So let's get stripping it down, I guess. Start taking all this crap off.
massive shout out to Quantum Machinery Group for sending us out this 28 millimeter Sigmund table. We are honored to have this thing. It makes work amazingly easy in the shop, fabbing up swing arms, building frames. It's just an amazing piece of equipment. And make sure to come check us out at Fabtech 2019. We're gonna be at McCormick Place in Chicago, Illinois. Um, we're gonna be at the Quantum Booth, so come check us out. We'll have stickers. We'll be hanging out there. You can check out their products in person just to see how amazing they are and how high quality. And make sure to check out those links in the video's description. They do help us out and help us continue doing these videos. All right, guys, back to the build. Alright, so let us know what you think of the swing arm in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and watching the channel. On the next episode, we'll be getting the seat center mounted in the steering wheel. We're going to be putting out another episode of this next week and one on the buggy. So stay tuned. We'll get this thing knocked out and hopefully see this thing make some power. It's going to be geared for around 65 to 75 mile per hour. So she's going to be quick.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go check out our website, rbgcarts.com, where you can find. This was actually the last hat. I stole it, but we're going to be ordering some more. We got shirts, stickers, uh, help support us. And remember about Fabtech 2019. Check out the links below where you can find Quantum, Go Power Sports. They all sponsored this video. So thank you so much for tuning in. We love you guys and God bless.